El Angel Diablo, you come on here and you talk about that you don't know what's happened with Mr. Presto. You talk about how he's changed, how he's different. He's uncontrollable. He has all these things wrong with him there. Well, I can tell you what's happened to him, you see. Focus. Lack of focus. You see, he you may have thought he had an edge. He doesn't have that edge anymore because you see, I got to his mind. See, one thing I'm good at that's taking people out of the game before they even get into the game. Josh had focus. He had a reason to want to go. Now he's lost his mind. And without a mind, well, you know what they say, a mind's a terrible thing to waste. See, here's the deal. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a wise warrior once said to his son, Sister, so you have a sister. If she will not be turned to the dark, if you will not be turned to the dark side, then perhaps she will. Made the son look back. Much like I've made you, Mr. Presto, flip out over your own sister. You see, Mr. Presto, what you've done over these last few weeks, months, has helped unleash something in me. Something that's laid dormant for a long, long time. Something that's ready to be unleashed. What is it? Oh yeah. It's the animal. What you've done, Mr. Presto, is help unleash the animal that's been inside of Frankie Love for far too long. But in unleashing the animal, you've unleashed a good thing. You see, Mr. Presto, the reason why you're so upset with me is because of your sister. You see, as a brother, it's a brother's job, whether he's younger or older in your case, to watch over their sister, to be their protector, if you will. And you see, you didn't do that. Something may have happened for whatever reason. And what did it do? I know what it did. You know what it did. You see, your sister needed some attention. You weren't giving it to her. So she came to the one man that would give her the attention she needs. She also came to the one man that she knew would get your attention. She came to Frankie Love, Mr. Presto. That's right. And I am more than willing to give her the attention she deserves. Even the attention that you can't give her because, well, if you gave her that kind of attention, that would be really some sick stuff, which we're not going to get into right now. And I know what you're saying. Frankie Love, that is an awesome outfit you're wearing. Yes, it is. And do you know who we have to thank for this awesome outfit? That's right. 80s icon, exotic Adrian Street and his wife, Linda, because they are the premier gear maker for Frankie Love. But that's not important right now, is it? What's important is you, Mr. Presto, next summer, and me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's not forget your sister. Because your sister is going to be arm in arm with Frankie Love. Why? Because, what can I say? Chicks dig me. I mean, look at me. I mean, honestly. If you were a chick, I'm sure you'd dig me, I mean, but you're not a chick, so you don't. But that's okay, because I can't help that chicks dig me. I mean, I look awesome in this outfit. Then again, your sister knows what I look like out of this outfit, but that's not important either, is it, Josh? You know what I'm saying? What's important is this. You're losing your mind. Why? Because that's what I do to people like you. I make you lose your mind, and then... I have the edge. And then what happens? Oh, yeah, that's right. I beat your ass. And next summer, it's going to come down to you and me. And 
there's going to be blood, there's going to be chaos, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on, see, you may have the edge, you think, because we're going to be in your hometown of Phoenix, Arizona, home of WrestleMania 26, but who really cares? See, the hometown advantage don't mean anything anymore. Guys have lost in their hometowns. I mean, in all honesty, being in your hometown, as far as I'm concerned, is a detriment. Because then when you lose, you look like a fool in front of everybody you know. And then how do you live it down? You don't. Then what do you do? That's why right. you go and you off yourself. But you know, Josh, we don't want you to do that because you're a cool dude. I mean, you may... You know, want to be riding on my coattails or whatever to make a name for yourself as an up-and-coming superstar? That's fine. You go ahead and do that. But know this, Josh. Good friends, they make better enemies. And next summer, with your sister by my side, <laughs> and the world title on the line, you're going down. No doubt about it. Keep putting on your little face paint. We got a few more months, Josh. We got, ooh, it's December now, right? We got nine months. Well, it's not December yet, but it's close enough. So we got nine months. And in nine months, you have to regain your focus to become what you once were or whatever you aspire to be. Because in nine months, you're going to see the evolution of Frankie Love over the next nine months. You've seen the evolution of, of Frankie Love over the last year. I went from 210 to now 150, and I look awesome. Let me tell you something, Josh. You don't want none of this, but you asked for it, and now you're going to get it. August of 2010, you belong to me. And your sister already does, but that's okay. I'm Frankie Love. I'm out. Peace.